Hello to everyone who may be watching, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ark Spiral Evolved, as requested by my nephew. In this episode, I'm hoping to get a raptor or two, preferably a whole pack of them, but we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm trying to get all this done before I build the cage that I plan on taking with me. I'm going to take Techno with me and try and find some, but that still might be dangerous. I'm pretty sure I might lose him. <laughs> Another level. And we are finally level 20. Still need to put one more into weight because I want to have 300 weight. And now I can actually make the smithy metal pick. And the refining forge, which I definitely do want. But before we do that, I would like to build a raptor cage. One, two, three, four. One, two. Need nine of those, one of these, and a door. In all seriousness, I might die. Oh, I also need a ramp. We go. And maybe a ceiling. And then a ladder. Nope. It's <laughs> a lot of engram points to spend, but it'll be worth it. Leveled up anyway, so. Got all those engram back. Those engrams back. And here is the trank arrow, which I definitely want to learn. And then where is that bow? Alright, that'll help a lot. So, to make some arrows, I need flint, thatch, and fiber. So, I'm going to get to making that while I prepare <laughs> 87, that should mean way more than enough. One of the things I should do is probably make a bed or a sleeping bag. Maybe a sleeping bag would be better. It's cheaper, I know that. But it's only one use. A bed... Once you use a sleeping bag, it goes away. No, I need hide. I don't think I have any back at base, but I'll check anyway. I'm gonna go get... i um, gonna go need the narcotics anyway, so... Hopefully I'll only use one. I'm gonna spoil these. Pins ammo. And a bunch of those. Oh boy. Okay, let's see here. Alright, bit of bad news. I went searching for some raptors, but I accidentally got too close to a Therizinosaur because it turned the corner. I didn't see it. And now, <laughs> yeah, see there? Um, yeah, it got too close and uh, it got angry at me. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording anyway, so it's it kind of works out. Anyway, there's a Therizinosaur that got too close. <sighs> the thing is actually an herbivore. Therizinosaur is an herbivore. It's very, very strong, though. <laughs> um, it's about as strong... Is it as strong as a... Uh, T-Rex? They're extremely useful for certain boss fights, I know that. It's 
coming closer. I, I can't get close to my body uh, until that thing leaves. And it's not going after me right now. It's not angry. I just need for it to stay away for, um, for a while so I can get my stuff. Alright, I got that. And I think this is the body of my Parasaur. Yep. Unfortunately, we lost Techno, but that's okay. It was just a Parasaur. Well, let's find another Parasaur before we do anything. Because we still need a Berry Gatherer. I mean, there's one right here. So, 168. That'll work. Hitting in the head is better than hitting in the body. Oh, there it goes. That isn't too bad. We lost uh, Techno, but we got a much better Parasaur. You know, you win some, you lose some. Especially in this game. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go down the other side of the beach and see if we can't run across some raptors that way. Before we do that, I'm gonna do a few things over here. Stay there. Might have to whistle passive on him, though. Well, things I want to do first. And that is to craft a few more bolas. Do I need? More thatch. How many can I make? Six? That'll do. Craft that up real quick and then we'll go down that way instead of into that forest where there's a bunch of therizinosaurs for some reason. And these are busy making my charcoal, which by the time we're actually gonna need the charcoal for the gunpowder, we'll have quite a lot, so multitasking. Right, we have nine boas, and I got my raptor trap back, so... Alright. Let's just keep going. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record me getting killed by that Therizinosaur. It might have been a little more entertaining, but I was called away and I forgot to turn the recording back on. Forgive me. Okay. Yeah, go up this way. Increase weight. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, those things. The Ornuses. I hate them so much. Oh man, my nephews love this story. Okay, my worst encounter with a dinosaur. I had an Ascendant Pump Action Shotgun. Those things, one of those things, Nick the Ornus, attacked me, stole my Ascendant Shotgun, and I don't know if it ate it or dropped it off a cliff, I don't know what happened, but the thing was gone, I could not find it. Yeah. There is any creature in this game that I wish they would take out and never put back in. It's the Ichthyornis. I do not like them. I hate them so much. 
Oh boy, and that's saying something because, you know, I can usually find something about a dino that I think is, um, you know, likable at least. You know, they might be cute, they might be, um, have some sort of use. Like, you know, I don't like the Pegomastix, I don't like taming it, but they're actually kind of useful in PvP if you put a bunch of them in, <laughs> in a um, place where they can steal stuff from whoever decides to, decides to rob, rob, rob. Excuse me? They can be useful if you put them uh, in a place where you, they can steal stuff from anyone who tries to rob your base. You know, even a Pegomastix has, it has its uses, but those Ichthyarnases, I have never found a use for them that would outweigh their annoying <laughs> tendency to steal stuff. There's an the Iguanodon over there. I like Iguanodons. Can't tame it right now, though. And I do not see any raptors yet. Those are dillos. I don't have to worry about them. It's up there that I'm worried about. Alright, over there. Oh great, I hate these things. These little bugs, they're like a cross between a bee and an ant. They're like ancient ants. And they're super annoying, especially if you're flying. But they are useful for getting chitin early on, so this might turn into something good. They poison you, though. They make it so that your stamina drains really slowly. Alright, my girl is not detecting an enemy up here. If I can't find any raptors, I would like to find... A little bit of crystal. Oh, some plant species X. Oh, that'll be useful. I'm not gonna grab it right now, but there's I don't have any way to plant them. Not at the moment. Yeah, that looks pretty dangerous. Anything up here that's gonna hurt me? I'm not as familiar with this map as I am with the island and the you know, the official ones. Um, I'm familiar with the island, Scorched Earth, and Aberration. Those are the ones I'm most familiar with. So, there are no enemies around. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet, but I'm just paying really, really close attention to what's around me. I know this doesn't look very exciting, but <laughs> I don't like taking so many chances. And there's nothing up here. Isn't that a little strange? There's nothing here? You'd think there'd be something. And I find that strange. I find it strange that I don't see absolutely anything. Oh, that's a saber tooth. I don't want to deal with one of those. Okay. Let's go back down to the beach. Can I finesse my way down this? If I go backwards, will I take lots of damage? I don't want to go down too quickly. I don't want to fall. That's a scorpion. Did it see me? I mean, I'm not afraid of it, but... I prefer not to deal with it. And the thunder is really obnoxious. Okay. There's a scorpion. Uh, I'm not afraid of the scorpion, I just, just don't want to deal with it. I 
Gotta be careful. I've seen things as big as a wreck spawn down here. Alright, Thunder, I get it. I do know raptors can spawn on that ridge. I've seen them do it. I've seen them up there. Alright, that tech parasaur, what is it running from? Can you see uh, other dinosaurs running from something? It might be a good indication that you should also be afraid. That's a Carno. Usually I find raptors by now, but I haven't found anything. It's gonna be nighttime by the time I find those things. I guess here's something interesting that I should show about the Parasaur. If I press the C button... Some dinosaurs will run away from me. Raptors will as well. But as you see up there on the top right, there's a cooldown. And it's starting to get really dark. And I do not like it. Yeah, it's getting dark. I need to head back. Where am I right now? Just across over there. Meet you guys back at base. Uh, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'd rather go into the water than deal with that guy. Man, look at that moon. <laughs> that's unusual. I usually find raptors by now. Alright, well there's base. I'm gonna wait until morning before we, we go and try again. Alright, well, I have been up and down the beaches and all that kind of stuff, and I have not found any <coughs> uh, raptors at all, which is crazy. It's usually I see them by now. But you'll notice we have a new member here. This was a... This is what she looked like um, before I put that costume on her. I killed another Triceratops that had that costume and got it and put it on her. <coughs> so... But, in terms of allowing you to, guys to see me um, do that, if anyone's wondering, also, I also just made a ton of narcotics. I made, I put a whole bunch of metal in here, put a whole bunch of wood in these, so they're just creating all the charcoal I could ever need. I also leveled up to level 42, and now 43. Okay. Now you can see, I barely touched any of this stuff. Some of this stuff, well, the mammoth, it's useful, very useful, but I'm nowhere near one, so I don't need it right now. Dodecurus, very useful, don't need it right now. Some of these guns I don't really need right now. I'll get some of this stuff later. I'm just holding off on it for now. And um, same with this stuff. This greenhouse stuff, little ones if you're watching, this is to help grow crops, which is important for stuff that we can do later. But for now, again, just leaving it all here. Also the ghillies suits and all that kind of stuff, you know. And of course I upgraded the base, and this is how I leveled up so much, is because, you know, I made everything around here stone. This I made the railings because I could see out better. So yeah, nice place. But, in the light of allowing you to see me, how I took down that Triceratops, the Tyrannops out all the way, I just made that. I saw another Triceratops over there. Here it is. It is a female. Right. And as is typical for me, I build a trap. Whoops. What the? Well, that's annoying. Uh, well, you know what? This probably will do. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Structures Plus can be weird sometimes.
one of these. Triceratops can't get out this, so I'll be safe. I need to get its attention. And then hopefully I can get over here. Nope. And here we go. <laughs> There's my trap. Since that's stone, it cannot get out of there. But when you trank down a triceratops, hit it in the body. Everywhere but the head, because you can see it takes less damage if you hit it in the head. And you want the torpor to go up uh, faster by hitting it in the body. What the? I don't know how it did that. <laughs> just lured back in, I guess. Ouch. Eh, just hit it in the feet, I guess. Now, it's best against some dinosaurs to space out your shots by about six seconds. Just to make sure you don't kill it. Because some dinosaurs can easily be killed if you're too greedy with your shots. This one has a lot of health, so I'm not worried. I can pepper it with shots just as much as I want. Now it looks like it's trying to run. Is it trying to run or is it still trying to get to me? No, it's still trying to get to me. If you see it turn around and it looks like it's trying to run, that means it's almost ready to go down. This is another reason why you want to space out your shots. Because... If it, you don't want to attack it when it goes down, or else its taming effectiveness will go down as well. The taming effectiveness, what it does is... Oh, hopefully I did not attack that thing one too many times. See, that's the problem. Right there. Hopefully I didn't attack it one too many times, and see what happens if the, um, I hit her one too many times there? She might be a lower level than usual. Um, I honestly cannot tell. Either way, really high level Triceratops, very easy. That is how I got the other one. Oops, forgot to take that ramp. Okay. No, all she has to do is follow me home. I don't know what to name her. I named the other one Tiffany, I don't know what to name this one. Um... Brenda, I don't know. That's just the first name that came to my mind. <laughs> oh boy. I know I didn't get any raptors, but since we're high enough level, I'm gonna go get a pteranodon. Then this on a high note. Would that be considered a pun? A flying pun? I don't know. Maybe. Now, I want two pteranodons because I need one to carry a little bit of crystal back to base. Pteranodons can't carry much, but having two and letting one carry some of the crystal back, that'll be enough to start off. Oh, there's one. Way down there. I think I saw one. Well, at least I think I did. Is it stuck on the rock? That'd be funny if it is. Because <laughs> I swear I saw one in my peripheral. <gasps> it is stuck on the rock! Let's free it. Where's my... bolus? There we go. I'm gonna need it. What level is it? It's a level 18. That's pitiful. But... Take what we can get. My goodness. You are stuck, buddy. Can I hit him with this? Alright, that works. 
<laughs> and that never happens. But if you just see one in the sky or something like that, wait for it to land, hit it with a bullet, and shoot it in the head. I don't have any meat. Darn it. <laughs> um, you know what? Allow me to take a little bit of revenge. Nope. Gotcha! I don't care if it stole my berries. <laughs> Woo! I can deal with losing the berries. If it means I get to kill that thing. <laughs> Ooh, that's so satisfying. And I gotta free this guy and everything spawned back because I have this set on, like, instant respawn. I don't want to wait hours upon hours for the rocks and the trees to respawn. It doesn't really affect anything or anyone but me. Go, buddy. I need to drop this because this bird is not going to be able to carry me if I do not. So. Okay. I don't want to name it. Um. Here you go. Alright. Well, we have flight. We have flight at least. Alright. Not the best, but... See we can get. Alright, now I'm going to go and find another pteranodon and do the same exact thing. Hopefully I can find one that's above level 100. And uh, I'll cut to when I have it tamed. Oh, well now there's a raptor. There's only one though. That means that thing must have jumped off a cliff or something. It's very rare to find a lone raptor. Sounds like this when I wish I had a spyglass. Let me see if I can figure out its level without getting hurt. Oh no! Woo. Okay, it's only level 18 I saw, so not worth it. Oh, there's another one. Well, goodness, the raptors are falling from the sky now, but they're stupidly attacking... Triceratops. Alright, found and tamed another Tyrannodon. I think this one was... 108? Or was it 10? It was 106. It was, one, it was something. Something around there, I forgot. <laughs> anyway, it's a good level now. And now that we can... Alright, now that I have two Tyrannodons, you can see bases over there, I am going to go up to these cliffs I think there's some crystal right over there on that cliff. Yep, there's some right there. Let's see it. Just to the right of my character. I can actually sprint there. Okay, anything up here that's gonna chew on me? No. Alright, I don't need to carry much. Maybe a hundred. Okay, buddy, don't push me. Oh, they're both following me. Okay, both of you go over here. Oh, good lord. Just land. Probably over there. <laughs> okay, um, can you carry that? Yeah, you can. You can actually carry a little bit more. I don't... That's a saber. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't want to stay here too long. Let's not push it. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come on. I probably shouldn't sprint. 
long as I don't sprint, I'll be able to make it back to base without having to land and get, regain my stamina. Alright, we made it back to base. Just took the crystal off of that other bird. And I know the super spyglass, right? Yes, I do. Now, one thing I need for the spyglass, though, is cementing paste, which you need to put stone and keratin or chitin into a mortar and pestle. And then turn it on, but I, I don't- actually, I don't know how to make cementing paste. Silly me. <laughs> Alright, cementing paste. Cementing paste is used to make a lot of things, little ones, so you're gonna need a lot of this stuff. And I need how many to make that super spyglass? Ten. So, let that go. And I'll let you know when it's done, and I'll show you what it does. Alright. It's done. Need some wood. Super spyglass, amazing. It's a combination of the spyglass and the magnifying glass. Spyglass allows you to see from a distance and see what level it is you're looking at, like the dinosaur that you have selected. But the <laughs> the magnifying glass allows you to see the health and torpor. Spyglass, the super spyglass, which is in a mod, you can't get it originally, but the Super Spy Glass does both, and you don't need to look through the thing. It does both. Look at that. And it shows you the stats, too. An amazing mod. <laughs> Love it so much. We got a lot of charcoal now. My meat's almost done cooking. Alright, well... Upgrade the base. Got two Triceratops. I had a... Uh, Replace poor techno with echo. It rhymes. <laughs> but and then we got two pteranodons, and then I'd say I'd say this is a pretty good ending to this episode. <laughs> Next episode I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do, but I'll have something figured out by then. Either way, I'll see you next time.